Okay, take two. So, this is Secret World Legends, and it, it, let's go ahead and fix that. It's not showing up on screen. Refresh, refresh. There we go, okay. Uh, this is Secret World Legends. This is my um, second attempt at making this. Um, this is going to be a blind first impressions video. I actually did play the Secret World. In fact, I actually bought a, um, I bought a uh, lifetime subscription. That was back when it was a subscription-based model, and it cost fifteen dollars. Um, let's see, how's the sound on that? Okay, so um, it cost fifteen dollars, but. Um, um, I wanted, I really liked the game and I wanted to be able to play it without having to pay a subscription fee. Um, and then they went free to play, but if you had a lifetime subscription, you were like considered to be like a, like a special member and got stuff every month. So, um, let's see if that actually transfers to now. I actually bought a lot of stuff from like the real money, um, place because I had, I had all that stuff. I got most of that stuff for free anyway. Um, so let's see if they were able to keep most of it. Now you actually do have to create a new, brand new character. Um, I have three character slots because I guess I'm a legacy, legacy character. Um, I don't think they have the dimensions on this. Um, at least I hope they don't because um, it would be really nice to, um, to not have to worry about that. I prefer playing as the Templars because I always prefer playing as like the good guys and I, I just feel like the Templars are better at embodying that. I also like London as a setting more than New York and Korea. Um, I just like everything. I like the Templars like um, ambiance and attitude and such. Um, this is a loading screen. Um, so let's hope it doesn't take too long because that is very boring to look at. Um, they, uh, supposedly, according to the blurbs, have revamped combat, have, uh, revamped a lot of things. Um, I wonder if, um, I'm going to be able to have my, um, the stuff I bought be selectable in character creation. Um, the premise of this game is that, um, you are a member of a secret society, um, that is fighting sort of the darkness that, uh, the secret darkness that's, uh, surrounding the world. And, you know, you have these three factions, so I'll play, like, the Templars video for you. I'm gonna select You came to us in search of a purpose. And mark this. There is no purpose greater than ours. A world will founder without structure and discipline. It needs leadership to guide it to a new age of stability. It needs those with the will to stamp out the darkness that breeds in the cracks. It is looking we know this because we are compelled by tradition, by loyalty, by laws. Without these, we are just animals. Evil reigns over animals, corrupting and compromising, toppling empires. So our empire must be incorruptible, must be uncompromising. Our conflict must be a righteous one. Your conviction will be tested, but among us, your faith will be unshaken. Among the Templars. So yeah, I'm gonna pick the Templars. I wonder if the opening changed at all. So, um, actually swallowing a bee is a very unusual way to get superpowers, but that's basically how it happens in Secret World. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so these... This is a little bit different than before, than before. I like that face. Um, when I am female. Um, you can actually kind of customize everything. No, oh, it looks like they kind of tuned down some of the ability to like mess with facial features. Uh oh, did that just crash? No, uh, okay. Not really a fan of short hair. One thing, one reason a lot of games um, don't have long hair as often, or have characters with long hair uh, put it up, is that it is kind of a pain in the ass to model or make it look reasonable. <coughs> um, is there a way to change the skin? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make her eyebrows. 
more like mine. Or maybe a little bit more like mine. Um, green eyes. Nothing. Lots of different tattoos. I'm not gonna go with the Mike Tyson one. Makeup! I can't even tell what that is. Oh, okay, so that determines the lip color. Anyway, you guys didn't, uh, like, get into this game. Oh, I can actually change my height. Okay. I'll be a little tall because trans girl. Yeah, I think that's a better color for her. Anyway, you didn't get into this to have me mess with makeup, so let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, yeah, you can also pick clothes. I wish I still had my glasses. I lost them ages ago, sadly. Let's go with no coat. We don't need no coat. Um, I actually bought a ton of different clothes for the character. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that top. Let's do it with close to what I'm wearing anyway. I'm actually wearing capris like this. Kind of. Oh, nice skirt. Shoes. Um, I I like I tend to wear boots. These actually look a lot like my actual shoes. Whereas if she really looked like me, she'd have to be a lot fatter. <sighs> Sigh. Yeah, I like how she looks. Okay. Select class. Holy shit, they actually added classes. That's crazy. That's completely different from what they used to do. Um, that is very different. Pistols and shotguns. Warlock. Ooh, warlock. Uh, blood magic. That is, wow, that is completely different. They actually added class. Let me tell people about this. That is incredible. That is way different than before. Um, I hate that outfit, to be honest. Um... Multiple kills, final hit dealing, increased damage, consumes four blade energy. Create name. If you wish to preserve you, please pick a fictional first and last name. Oh, let's see. Not my class outfit, I want that outfit. Okay, um, let's do with... Okay, so I'm a Templar Assassin. I'm sure there's a band name in there. Ooh, let me give her a tattoo, because... I want to be Torment Tattoo. Ah, screw it. Yeah, let's go with uh, Torment Tattoo Girl. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I'll go with my actual first name, who cares. Mmm, go with the last. Mm. Yeah, Olivia. I need a last name. I need a last name. What's your ethnicity? No numbers allowed. Must begin and end with a letter. Olivia Torment Zero. Tormented. Ah, of course it is. Would be cool if I actually managed to get the new tarot. I I have a thing about tarot cards. I love tarot cards. is maintaining a heavily guarded perimeter around the site of last Yeah, it looks like the opening is still the same. The Japanese government has stated that an unidentified radical political group released a biological agent in the Tokyo subway, less than one kilometer from the Rochi Tower. Yeah, so it's the torment the, the Tokyo prologue. There have been eyewitness reports of activity inside the perimeter, including ongoing fighting between Orochi security personnel and armed civilians. Authorities are denying these reports and the military has barred anyone from approaching within 100 meters of the temporary room. You will see the end of days. Oh, I need to have subtitles. The dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything or to become a god. To stand with us. Or against us. Oh, it looks different. The choice is yours. Remember this. <coughs> yeah, there's like these two people that are like arguing in the previous version. Oh. Trashing your apartment. This is different. I don't remember there being a loading screen in the middle. Oh, 
Oh, this is way different. Yeah, this is like nowhere near the same. Yeah, this is a zone was there before. Closer, child. Did I just get an achievement? Three more. Oh, and also like it's found. Yeah, this is a little bit more twitchy. The world trembles. You must learn or be swept away. Oh, okay, so I have to hit F. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a completely different thing. Yeah, I can still do that. I'm in a cemetery. Oh, okay, so I can. Oh, well, how do I how do I use the menu? This is very different. Take weapon. Open the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like nothing is the same. Right click your weapon to equip it. I should have like way more shit to wear. Free PC for mask. I should have like tons and tons of stuff in my account, at least because I have. I should have, yeah, you know, like, it's, it wouldn't be very fair if I didn't have my, um, old gear, you know, that I actually paid money for. That's really important. The rest of the story will not Okay. Well, maybe I'll unlock it. Sprints, pets. Things, pets. Alright, whatever. So it looks like I need to, like, hit I to, like, access the can I like get it like a journal or something? J. The dead rise. Dreaming of tomorrow. You have woken up in a dream, but it's not your own. You're being led through several locations you've never seen before. Holy, like. Yeah, this is like tripping me out because it's like really, like there's not a whole lot that's the same. There's a web browser at least. Oh, and they actually have levels. They have actual levels. Where I came from. The dead are rising to the siren song. Destroy them. Basic abilities are as effortless as breathing, but power abilities draw upon your reservoir of energy. Okay, so... Hurricane. And flowing strike. Your blade moves flowing like water striking your target. Basic. So that's the basic ability, and 
I should probably switch those. Congratulations, you made a game just, just like this now. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so that I, that line is actually from, um, yeah. Please show subtitles. Show subtitles and cinematics, especially. Okay, definitely like that. You must learn focus and control. The watchers will intervene only in dreams and only once. Every weapon becomes a unique focus for your abilities. Spin through the air. Find your rhythm. The blade is a spirit forged of will. Okay. You teach your enemies to dance. Speciality Spotlight. Blade. How to use the Spirit Blade. Swinging your blade sometimes generates Chi. Consume 5 Chi to activate your Spirit Blade. The Spirit Blade causes all your attacks to deal additional damage. While it is active, you will continue to generate Chi. Use this Chi to maintain your Spirit Blade for as long as possible. Okie dokie. The Rakshasa have also come to heed the song. Have pity, but spare them no mercy. They were once like you. The world shakes, the dead rise. You will be tested. More twitchy, a little more. Well, it's not like wow, quite because it's like it's very twitchy. I'm having to relearn the game here. Of course, it is pretty much a different game. Do not follow the call. 
They follow death. You cannot leave this place while it lives. Be agile. Be confident. Your life depends upon it. Gotcha. Control R. We're watching you. Starter talisman reward bag. Yeah, this is like really different. Choices. Fighting eternal darkness is a fool's errand. Wisdom is the light that drives the darkness away. child. We speak in metaphors because alien minds cannot decipher them. Your path will be equally puzzling. Wisdom must be your torch. Disable your normal actions. Press E to draw the torch again. Some items are any abilities. I guess I have to step in those in a certain order. Maybe this means wisdom. Took a screenshot. -y. What does this do? Oh, healing potion. I have three of them.
and wisdom. Not much of a riddle, guys. The major zones were um, Solomon Island, Egypt, and Transylvania. This, like, the first zone looked like Solomon Island, the second zone looked like Egypt, and this looks like Transylvania. Although there's an Egyptian mummy there, so maybe that uh, Dracula was very co cosmopolitan. They are the cats prowling at the walls of reality. You are the mouse. It is best to remain unseen. A clever mouse creeps carefully to avoid stepping on a trap. Or, uh, yeah, this could be transforming, yeah. Into the bunker, okay. It's not my place to intervene, but then. So I have to make sure not to step on the mines. Not make that jump. Clever mouse will walk unseen. A mouse cannot defeat a cat face to face. That's their visual. I guess they're mostly blind. Essentially, they're saying they're stealth missions. Yeah, so I'm like uh, having some Oh, someone uh, someone's actually watching. Uh Osiris Warp. Okay. Three six nine one. So I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I kind of have mixed feelings about this. Maybe. Talismans can protect you, strengthen you, and focus you. But they cannot save you. Nothing can save you, but the choice will set you free one way or another.
Yeah, they they are kind of going for a more traditional. Looks like they're going for a more traditional idea. Tokyo. Hurry. We have no time to spare. Should we console the Council of Venice first? Now is not the time for argument. What was that? Something's coming go, out of the ground. Go now. Yikes. Don't hold anything back. The unutterable lurker. Looks like I have some sort of buff. Watch out. It reminds me of the subway program. Be mindful of the voices for they speak. Hmm. One voice says that they speak the truth, the other one says that they corrupt. Who do I side with? Pretty typical energy control witchcraft. Good afternoon. Are you... From the look of things, I guess that question is moot. B problem? There's a lot of that going around. I represent an organization headquartered in London, a very large organization with branches across the globe and connections in every government. Although we see ourselves as a, um, a silent partner. We pull strings, big strings, prime ministers, presidents, kings. Dark days are coming. The world is in turmoil and we're recruiting soldiers, agents, adventurers, crusaders. And we offer good terms. A fresh start, a network unlike any other, unlimited resources, a fantastic medical plan, and a way to harness and use your incredible powers. It may be a big transition, but look at it this way. This is a unique opportunity. You have been chosen. You have been granted powers beyond what most can imagine. So you can either be an outcast in a world that will never understand or accept what you've become, or you can join others like you. Take a stand against a rising darkness and embark on a journey into the unknown, into the hidden places, into the secret world. The choice, as we're so fond of saying, is entirely yours. But know this, your emerging powers will attract plenty of attention. And not everyone is as, um, as accommodating as we are. Mm. On your own, you'll be easy prey. You might not last a week. This will get you where you need to go. There are instructions inside. Use it or don't use it, it's your prerogative. You won't see me again. I trust you'll make the right decision. It's weird how everyone in the secret world's apartment looks exactly way, the same. Our organization is called the Templars. You may have heard of us. We've been around a while. Good day. Not all the answers for investigation and missions could be found in the game. Don't hesitate to use your web browser to find these answers. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you gotta go to IGN and cheat your way through. Or you can, you know, use their fake websites to try to figure it out. Your fake news. So yeah, they I guess they completely changed the tutorial.
Sorry, can't let you through without authorization. Look, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's not. All right, lads, D.I. Shelley, they're with me. Do us both a favor and don't go flashing that letter around out here. The boys on the cordons haven't been briefed. As far as they're concerned, this is all just heightened awareness after the terrorist attack in Tokyo. But I don't terrorist deal with the attack. I deal with the truth about the secret London, about the Templars. I'd say. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, but you have no idea. Even I only get as involved as I have to, for the sake of us little people. You've seen it on the news, the Tokyo incident. That's what happens when your new crowd lets things get out of hand. Not here. Not on my watch. That's the deal. That's always been the deal. You'll be safe inside, Eldwick. Go see one of the prophets prophesying up the road by the tube station. They'll fill you in on the kind of crazy you've got ahead of you. Best be prepared. Be My prepared. sincerest condolences. this I have auction house currency oh I have to actually buy real money to buy gold it's kind of like the uh, the store um, oh achievements I got achievements unlike blade and elemental weapons monsters I killed some zombies. That's an achievement, even though I did it during the tutorial. So, Humans have the ability to change from within, to be better, to be happier, to reach the next level of existence. Humanity's change, old prejudices, old fears, old institutions. Next level of existence is a revolution of how to be, how to be happy, how to be beautiful, how to bask in the morning light. Alright, is there... I remember there was a... you could actually look up the lore that you found. No. Where's my character sheet? Okay, I... Oh, this is my character. Oh, that's my character sheet. Okay, that makes a little more sense. They're both high. Okay. Uh, achievements in Legends. Legends. Oops. The Morning Light. Initiate the self improvement signal. Receive initiate the recruiting cadence. What else have I unlocked? Oh, okay. So. Yeah, it is so different. I know I've just said that like 30 times, but like, it is so different. I just want tacos. I only want tacos. 
That's the only food that's in the secret world, or that was in the launch. You can only eat tacos. And there's an Easter egg that you could craft them into nachos. Now, I am an embarrassment to our organization. But once I was a diplomat. <laughs> As if Templars could wage diplomacy other than by jackboot. I served my time on the councils of Vienna, Berlin, Venice. We pontificated with archaic words in dead languages. Beyond our little parliaments, the mysteries were trampled one after another. We did nothing. The pride of the Templars has turned to rigor mortis. I cannot unsee it now. Huh? Like an immaculate mouth with a front tooth missing. We claim to stand against the darkness, but no. We slump in our Renaissance chairs, picking listlessly at the velvet. Alright, I gotta go to the tube station. And the old game, like going to the tube station, initiated the tutorial. Sheep and sword. There we go. Oh, okay, I can run past her that way. The Crusades this Friday, brain freeze, zero point, and the weapons. These little hints of the larger story. Cycling <laughs> to go to raves to save the gorillas to cash out those Anansi sheds. There's a storm coming. Mondo storm. Paint your glass houses shut. You don't have to take his word for it. This is a war from the king. sun. It says it's old and tired and scared of death. It says you've lived as young gods for too long. Spoiled children who only need to wish for something and it'll come true. Well, those days are gone now and won't be here again. <laughs> Sorry! I'll show you how it all goes down through the medium of unreliable narration. A vision of the future. This could be your lucky day. Tomorrow and all the ones after, not so much. It's a hot, wet day. You ever notice how the apocalypse always comes on a wet day? Is the smell of warm air and stale piss. The atmosphere is electric. I mean, actually electric. Sparking off the tracks, lifting and snapping your hair. A voice over the speakers that you don't hear. You itch. The black signal sounds. Lights out. Hmm. Oh, I still have the vision of Tokyo, I guess. This is the old tutorial. But I guess it was really important in the story. Or maybe this is a little bit different. I don't remember the splash screen being there. It's all shut down. Kaiden Cho, everything. From the, the park to, to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! Is 
So this must be a dream. You find yourself experiencing the aftermath of the Tokyo subway attack through another's eyes. Follow the lead of the other secret world agents and follow, work your way through the station down to the heart of the Starbucks. Say the rest of the bag. Second level. Oh, okay, so it's the second level. Okay, so we're still we're still using like a, a primary and secondary weapon. Generate heat to deal more damage, but don't overheat. Recover from overheating with cooling abilities. Speciality spotlight. Elementalism. How to control thermotics. Use fire or lightning abilities to increase your heat level. As your heat level increases, all elemental abilities deal more damage. If you overheat, you will be unable to use other heat abilities for a short while. Use cold-based abilities to regulate your temperature. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. In the original game, you were you used a shotgun during the section. Nah, I missed the line there. Ben. Let's do this. Take it like all the other occult disasters, right? We really have to stop mating like this. Let's see, gotta put your garbage away. Don't let it get on you. Don't even breathe in. It's a cancer. The cancer doesn't know you're coming, it just is.
Versa 2, passive skills. lore thingy. Rank clicking. All right, so it's a gadget. Oh, okay. So I have a new slot. Make sure I get all those because I know you can't come back to this area. Global ancient mysteries. The filth. Confusing, kind of hard to tell this. But.
dead now. Uh, I like that there's more like, uh... What do you call them? Tells. These are like abyssal entities in Mage the Awakening. That's damaging me. Still damage. Stand on oh. They're not stopping. And Look out! Stop. It's all coming this down. Is to hold us back. Uh, one of my uh, my friends on the chat is uh, posting posting pretty pics. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I remember this. All right, a little cutscene. We see like space space in Tokyo. sure how I feel about the changes. I don't know. Like, they're pretty good, and I think this will make the game more marketable, which is essential. I don't know. Let's see. I do have to sit through the same, a lot of the same bullshit, though. You look like you've just seen the end of the cosmos, mate. I did. I know the feeling. We're on the edge of it, and it's time to play your part, scene. Me and you, we're blood now, yeah? Templars for the win and that. Never mind. Looks like you've got some training to do before you're ready for your first kill. You want to do what your letter says. Go speak with Sonak at the Templar's Gaff. It's not far. You can't miss it. Honest, it's unmissable. Nope. Music. mode tabula rasa feature is not currently available
news from the Crusades. I've always wanted to say that. Don't let your guard down. The war on darkness begins at home. Careful. Illuminati and Dragon are everywhere. Loose lips sink ships and all that. Not to mention the Phoenicians. Seen anything suspicious? I'm gagging for a bit of the old ultra violence. Yeah, nice reference. It's quite ironic that I, an historian, have been imprisoned in the library for a decade now. Say now, I've always argued that historians need to. Experience history, not read about it. Uh, I've become what well, I fought my whole life an academic. Some things you can't study in books and expect to even begin to understand uh, the, the oral traditions of star forms over Uluru, Latin graffiti, bond on Trestavia stone, tree ring calendars from Tunguska, beehive database written wax, chamber music played in reverse to create arcane tone poems. There's much in history you need to confront and Tackle head on, preferably wearing some kind of protection. Before they put me under house arrest, I, I, I traveled constantly. I observed and recorded secrets. But you're only level 10. Legends. Angels battling over Stonehenge. You need these uh, special goggles they sell them at the ticket office. You need to know what to ask for. The setting sun reflecting off Shambhala's walls as the stars aligned to breathe life into its spectral populace. The halls of King Solomon's temple as it was carved by demons out of the bedrock. Or oh, nymphs showering in the waterfalls of the Garden of Eden. The Templars found me at the bottom of a particularly foul soul well off the coast of Indonesia. They're coming down from a spectacular and spectacularly chemical search for the third circle of hell. But they put me in shackles and brought me here. Lanark told me himself, when everything is true, there's nothing more dangerous than an educated man unchecked. I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> The morning light, but you have any idea how many cults have risen and fallen in the last thousand years? The last hundred? The last five? If there's two things London has enough of, it's Indian restaurants and bloody cults. The morning light is no different from a hundred other end of deers. It only happens to be the biggest, but anyone can get a million disciples. It's Simply a question of making people believe you have the answer to all their questions. Well, the morning light is only the last in an endless chain of sun-worshipping cults. Oh, I sense in them a desire for more than blind worship. Their rhetoric is zealous, like they want to devour their god, not kneel before it. It's a bit off-putting, to be honest. I myself started a sun cult back in... 1979 to test an hypothesis, but by 1980 I had a hundred thousand people ready to leap off the Masada at my command. It was just an experiment, of course, but I was forced into exile for two years after breaking the good news. You'd think they'd be only happy to avoid mass suicide. I don't think most people really appreciate the importance of practical science. Mm -hmm. The sun? Oh, now there's a topic close to my heart, and there's a hundred books on this topic right up uh, here. No need to descend into the vaults where feral tomes stalk ancient shelves in hunt of stray sentences, though. If you're serious about it, I'd recommend arming yourself and tempting fate. Uh, Tuesday mornings would be your best bet. That's when most of them sleep. It's only natural, of course, that the sun has fascinated and frightened humanity from the day we crawl out of the black oceans and some cults have been around since the first full eclipse who stare at you as the source of life and light is devoured by oily darkness as a way of putting the fear of god into the hearts of savages there's often been a contrasting duality to these sun cults light and darkness life and death 
From Atonism in Akhenaten's game, the Mithraic mysteries of Persia and Rome, to the fifth son of the Aztecs. Well, the further you dig into the text, the more you wonder which side of the coin these cults truly worshipped. The giver of light, or the eater of light? I myself spent seven formative years tracing the ascendance of sun worshippers across five continents. Tibet, Equatorial Guinea, the Amazon Basin, Greenland. Oh, those seven years flew by in a haze of history and uh, hallucinogenics. Mm, that's also when I grew this rather uh, epic beard. The hair was during my time studying the tone death chanters of the sunken islands of the Seven Atoll. Some of the chants I later realized were composed to arouse hair follicles in a rather spectacular fashion. I haven't put a brush to it since I lost my last one in there. Were you to peruse the shelves of my library, as few do, unfortunately preferring to peruse periodicals or their electronic reading devices rather than these musty books, you will find embedded in between the pages of many tombs of my own personal editions, secret chapters, prologues and uh, epilogues written over the course of 50 years. Tens of thousands of pages in multiple languages, some dead, some forbidden, most in the Queen's English. A record of my travels and experiments, accounts of the people I've encountered, living and dead, rituals I've unearthed and performed to varying degrees of success. I've left them here for posterity, but they were never meant for publication. As a young man, I revered historical records and treated them as fact. I followed in the footsteps of Herodotus, and I sought to experience history firsthand, even when it meant taking dangerous leaps through time and space, aided by chemical agents that are at best prohibited. I came to realize at last something fundamental. History is interpretation. There's no singular truth. There are no facts. History isn't only written by the victor, it's rewritten by subsequent victors or losers who came into possession of the victor's texts or, or, or the mistresses of victors who figured they'd write themselves into history to ensure immortality. History is, is mutable. History morphs in form and shape, context and content. History lives and breathes and dies. It moves on, a vast beast lumbering across millennia, leaving chaos and destruction in its path. All us historians can do, or arcane or not, is pick through the wreckage and attempt to, to, to piece together the broken bits in the hope that it'll teach us something. Mm. Some of these NPCs are really interesting to listen to. Now that we're out of cocktail season, rehabilitating Gladstone is our full-time project. Oh, don't feel left out. We always make time to receive the bright young things that come through Temple Hall. Gladstone is one of the great occult minds of our age. It's a very small, very high-risk field, being a great occult mind. Yes, they usually end up losing them to elder gods with names like a mountain of cornflakes. He's been going native, or every kind of native, for 30 years. Then the Templars fished him up off the coast of Kalimantan and brought him home. We got him housebroken again, dressing again, writing and lecturing again, mostly comprehensively. Of course, he's not permitted to leave. It is a shame. He's like a caged bird in here. A shabby, flightless thing with a hairy beak and stinks of sherry. A bird who licks cane toads and must be gentle, firmly reminded to wear pants. Now that we're out of no. the hotel season, no. rehabilitating Gladstone is our full-time project. Oh, don't feel left out. Rehabilitating Gladstone. Keep calm and carry on. Keep calm and carry on. Such an English thing to say. How do I get out of here? Your 
running around like a headless tourist. Oh god, don't remind me. <laughs> Remember, all eyes are on us now, so shoulders back and fear nothing. You there, show yourself. Come in, come in. I'm very pleased you can follow directions on the back of a card. It is the basis for us getting along famously. Of course, with an establishment like this, we're practically in the yellow pages under Crusaders. Richard Sonak. So, you heeded our call to arms. You have questions, I can furnish you with answers. Some answers. To begin with, you haven't strayed into some atrocious Dan Brown airport paperback. We are not the Knights Templar. That particular appellation went out in the 1300s along with page boy haircuts and burnings at the stake. No, we run a 21st century, well, let's say a forward-facing organization, but one with its strength in ancient bonds of tradition, in loyalty, in blood, and to be perfectly frank, in a sizable private army. Our firm guidance is needed to save the world from itself. We have kept the matters of squabbling secret societies and loathsome dimensions discreet. Until the shadows began to peel back across the globe. Until these darkest of days came upon us. Now, the evidence is on television for pity's sake. We are at war. Might will make right and it will fall upon us to judge the correct application of might. It falls upon you as a soldier of the Templars. Show me that you have the will and we can teach you the way. Your remarkable powers can be honed and controlled, at least to less disastrous effect on property values. There is a private training area which we have reinforced for just that purpose. Come back and see me after. Enter the crucible. Wait for the uniforms. Yes. Fusion. instructions and submit your reports don't go off the grid you'll find that nobody here likes a loose cannon go on now <clears throat> initializing field performance module dna encoding recognized sinking sync complete field performance module online Is it better than what I have? Oh! Oh, I don't have my weapons. Okay. Alt to enter mouse mode. Your handler. Where's the envelope notification? I don't see... oh, it's down there. Okay. You're going...
From now on, this is the most important room in the world for you. It's a place where you can try out all your newfound power without risk of hurting yourself. With the help of a few props, we've done our best to make the environment as realistic as possible. The demons are tied up, but they bleed the same. You'll find a diverse selection of weapons for you to practice and get comfortable with. Work hard, channel your anima correctly, and you'll find the one that suits you. And if you ever wish to explore other paths, you should return here. Mm. Okay, so if you... Okay. Oh, so this is how, um... Any weapon to strengthen an existing weapon. Sacrifice any talisman to strengthen an existing talisman. Okay, that's much, much simpler than how it worked before. Oh, I see weapons gain like XP. I think your chat is messed up. It says I'm not typing in English. No. Sorry. The time has come to discuss your upcoming excursion to the colonies. 
I'm afraid it's business, not pleasure. Recently, a small island community on the New England coast dropped off the map. You can disregard the tiresome government cover-ups. There are dark forces at play. Solomon Island is a rock with infamy. In the past, it was trafficked by the Illuminati before they joined the rush to New York. You should be aware that we have history with the Illuminati, acrimonious history. Of course, under the flag of truce, we have spat and made up, and now we are the closest of enemies, all smiles above the table and drawn knives beneath it. Illuminati are reckless and cannot be relied upon to clean up their own messes. We must find the root of whatever doom has come to Solomon Island. But let me stress that this is not a rescue operation. Should there be survivors, you cannot announce that you've been chosen to deliver anyone from evil. Joan of Arc did, and look where that got her. Our goal is the salvation of all mankind, not on a case-by-case -case basis. I understand that may stick in your throat, but, well, halos are fading all over town now that there is so much more at stake. Leave as soon as you can. Your travel arrangements have already been made at the Eldwick Underground. I'll be in touch. What is that? Nope. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. How do I... How do I bank? Wow, you're already over 50? Can't seem to. to channel, subscribe to channels, or let's just say, you have to actually, you have to actively subscribe to say,
That's weird. is not active by default. Talk to channel. Subscribe channels. Can't really see that. <sighs> Item loot, looking for group mission hints. Sanctuary. There we go. Can change everything. <laughs> oh, you can't buy stuff from here anymore. At one point you could buy stuff from the music store. Ornithopter is a jetpack. Jetpacks now? Oh, Lord, where 
That's cool. Flying mounts. Flying mounts are cool. Yes, I want to travel to a car fire. No, the loading screen's different. Currently downloading missing data. Go to all the Gartha. Hello? Yes? Now this is the Hollow Earth. A Gartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. And by my watch, it's... 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour. Judging from the cut of you, you're more of a world traveler. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, this underground realm, like the great British rail system, is the very model of efficiency. Agatha's thoroughfares sprout from the tree of life and connect back to the surface. Distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Now, of course, it's perfectly safe. And no one's entirely sure how it works quite bedeviled the science boffins, but I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men. Now you'll need one of these. Uh, mind your fingers. Thank you. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, they're still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the Hollow Earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast. What? 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 <laughs> Oh, okay. Five hundred what? Okay, well, how do I teleport? Yeah. Okay. Is that a mail yet?
The accounts should be linked. Oh, that. Items. All right, maybe I got a few things. Daily login reports. Patron bonus. Pure animate energy. What does this do? Let's see. Delivered items. Get all. I see how it works. Empowerment. It's now a level six blade. What is fusion? Oblivion. Alright, let's see if I can... Let's see... Social... Dress. Dressing room. Let's dress up. Exclusive item from the secret world. What else can I wear? Oh, I can't wear them both at the same time. Oh, that's cool.
Oh, I love this. I love how I have all this shit from back when I played the game originally. Oh, that's so cool! I love it. Do I have full outfits? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, aerobics leotard. I'm not wearing that. Gunslinger. Magus. This is uh, like from achievements I got in the actual Secret World game. And the real one before they ruined it! Sneak skin outfit. Hey, it actually showed tits for a second there. Oh, I love this outfit. I love it. Nudity in the secret world. I should Google that. My computer's running slow because it's a pretty good game. Alright, I actually am going to take a break. Oh, that's different. That is very different. Where does this go? There used to be a way to sequence break. Uh, if you jumped off the side. And sprints to soul. in New York. Entrance to the sunken library. I wonder what that's about. That's a new zone. Well, new to me, anyway. different.
are you? What's a gatekeeper? Kill you. Dungeons. Oh, okay, so that's the activity finder. Is John Bilal the only PvP? different too. Training grounds? Okay, let's go to the training grounds. And I'm gonna send Nightmare. Where's this one go? Carpathia, Hubs, Egypt, Public Raids, Access Denied, and King's Mouth. Oh, okay, it would be that black thing. What's deep of the guard, though? This is different. This is different. 
like the main capital city for I guess everyone. Platinum chef. Alright. What are they what is the platinum chef shell? Apples? Fifty tacos. There was an achievement if you ate like a bazillion tacos. Infernal catch. They got a frickin' motorcycle. Oh, I had one of those. One thing that was kind of awkward about it was that, like, it didn't affect how you jumped at all. What currency is that? the different kinds of currencies. Currency marks a favorite thing. Packs, shards, kind of like black bullion. It's a little guy. This is not portable. Oh, I'm just having fun exploring. I never even really play the game, the actual game that much. I just wandered around doing stupid shit. Yeah, Illuminati troubleshooters, and they find trouble and they shoot it. So there's like a bar in Agartha, that's cool.
she been so much in this? What is this place called? Axles? So I need to go to the rooted groove and unending twigs. How do you do your emails again? So they have a social activities thing. So what was the other oh. Alright, alt to get the achievement. Rooted groove and unending twigs. No, oh, personal. Dang, they are really stingy with the banks now. and legends unending twigs
Y... Unending twigs. So the unused twigs, then, basically. I went back in time. Back in time. Gonna go back. I wonder why they didn't change the whole thing to be like the uh, the central hub sign. Oh, hi, hi guys, I'm back. I'm gonna make a for first impressions video that's not like my uh... Alright, so anyway. Time to go to New England. The fuck? I gotta ask about that. Where'd you get the moose? Oh, I got another daily reward. I guess. I'm probably gonna like get here and then log out.
Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Huzzah. I have 52 minutes to do all this shit. Okay, so they really try to encourage you to play a lot. So I'm going to log out. Oh, and you. Exit. Exit now. Exit now! Do it now! Alright, I'm heading out. Alright, this fun playing. This is a